Hello you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then my name is Katie. And if you are not new, then welcome back. My cat is literally on my desk right now. You can't see her, but she's here. A little tail action. Okay, anyway, quick little update. Why did I not have a video on Friday? That's a great question. And I would love to fill you in on that. Um, well, first of all, how was your Thanksgiving? Because I hope it was better than mine. My family means a lot to me, especially my grandma and my Aunt Kim. And unfortunately, I was not able to go home for Thanksgiving because of, we all know why. I was pretty down on Thanksgiving and I did try to film a video. I did, <laughs> basically. It was supposed to be a funny video and I just wasn't, I just, it, it wasn't good. I filmed it, I looked at the footage, I was like, no. So then I didn't have enough time to refilm another one. And now we're here a week later. I did end up announcing the winner to the giveaway on my Instagram and on my YouTube stories and in a community post. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, this is distracting. I'm really sorry if you missed all that and you've just been waiting to see who the winner was. I did contact the winner. Her name is Michelle Watson. So congratulations to Michelle for winning the giveaway. I am going to refilm that video though. And it's gonna be funny and you're gonna like it, okay? But for now, we're doing a different video. These are actually my favorite types of videos because they are sponsored by Bright Sellers and I get to drink wine with you guys while I do my makeup. So I'm gonna swap you out. Say goodbye. Say thank you for watching. Subscribe to my mom. Okay. Needy. Great. Ooh. I would like to give a huge thank you to Bright Sellers for sponsoring today's video. I'm sure that you guys have talked. I'm sure what? I'm sure that you <laughs> Wow. Okay. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about Bright Sellers before because I've worked with them multiple times, but just in case you have not, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about them and then we'll hop into today's Cabernet or Merlot inspired look. I guess it depends on what's in the box. This is actually like the highlight of my month every month. You know, being that we're <laughs> still in lockdown and stuff. So if you guys have not heard of Bright Sellers before, Bright Sellers is a wine subscription service. They are delivered directly to your home, to your office, wherever you want them to go, which is like really convenient because once again, like I said, we're all still I'm still stuck here. All you have to do is go on their website and take their super simple seven question quiz. And then they will take those answers and they will source wines from all over the world that are custom curated for your specific palette. If for whatever reason you don't like a particular bottle, all you have to do is call their amazing concierge team and they will ship you a replacement bottle in your next box. We have some reds. This is a really pretty bottle. Cute Merlot. I like you. Now, will it be you or will it be Terraform Red Blend? Um, I think I'm gonna go with the cute Merlot. That rhymed. I'm annoying. This has notes of plum, raspberry, black cherry, and chocolate. Fun. All right, cool. Let's pop her open. Oh, also, if you're wondering why I have makeup on already, full transparency, I got Botox today because I really needed it and I'm old. I'm gonna be 30 in two months. What will also be in the description box is a link that you can click on if you would like to try Bright Sellers for yourself and then you can start taking their super simple quiz and you will get $50 off of your first six bottle box. Oof, I should have cleaned this glass. There's water spots all over it. Can you see that? Can you see that? Mm. Don't judge me. And that didn't work, so great. All right, well, cheers to you. Please drink responsibly. And if you would like to see me create a Merlot inspired makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay, I want to do something that is a little more simple and a little more wearable because I feel like the last couple of videos I filmed, um, the eye looks are just a little out there and not really something that you would wear on an everyday. So I want this look to be something that is very achievable. For today's eye look, I'm gonna be hopping between the pure 
Raw Beauty Christy palette and then the ColourPop Raw Beauty Christy palette because I actually just really like these two palettes. But with that being said, if you don't have these palettes, you can always just use colors that are similar. I'm going to start off with using the Pure White. A little bit of pink in there. Jesus freaking Christ. I'm gonna hop into this pure white shade and I'm gonna take this on a MAC 242 brush. Oh, and I know that I always get a bunch of questions on this mirror, so if you guys are interested in it, I'll put a link in the description box. I'm gonna take this white shade and I'm going to pack this all on the inner part of my eye. I really just wanna keep this really bright. If you are of a deeper complexion than I am, just use your judgment and don't use a stark white shadow. You can use something like, something like a cream color but with more of a peach undertone so that it brightens and then the peach will also look really nice with what else we're gonna do and then once i pack that color on i kind of like to turn my brush this way and just take it if you can see and just bring that into the socket i'm bringing this all the way up to like where my nose contour would start so where that shadow is where i contour my nose I'm taking it pretty much all the way up to there. And I'm also going to carry this shade pretty much across my whole entire lid. I don't know if you guys can see it, but my eyelids are so dry right now. Oh my gosh, like I can't even get shadow to stick. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Hmm, okay, well, there's that. So if it looks well, crazy, that's why. Next, I'm gonna hop into the ColourPop palette and I'm gonna go into the shade Puffball on a MAC 286 brush. And I'm gonna run this in my transition. Oh my gosh, these shadows are so pigmented. <laughs> it's funny because I like barely tapped. I just want like the littlest depth up here. I'm bringing this pretty far out as well. I want this to kind of like fade naturally into my actual skin. Like I don't want it to look like I have much there at all. And then I'm also just gonna bring this into the tip of my brow, but I'm not gonna bring it like down because I want that to stay bright. So I'm just gonna kind of like bring it across like that. And then whatever's left of my brush, I'm just gonna kind of like fade it inwards. I'm literally not picking up any additional product. I'm just kind of like fading in the sides so it all blends nicely. So the most crucial part to starting a wing liner is definitely just saying a prayer. So I will lead it off. Um, Dear Jesus, Heavenly Father, please send help. In your name I pray, amen. If you're not religious, just get creative, channel some good energy because you're gonna need it. I like to use the Maybelline Gel Liner in Black is Black, and I switch off between using like an angle brush and just a tiny little liner brush, and this is the MAC 210 brush. I'm gonna load this brush up, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin it in circles as I'm loading it so it gets nice and pointy at the tip. It's really all about the tip, you guys. I know a lot of people will tell you to go from the bottom lash line and draw up to the brow, but Everyone's brows are shaped differently and I think that's a dumb way to teach it. So I am gonna start on the bottom lash line, like, but I'm also going to draw outwards. And I'm making the tiniest lines at a time. I think that that's good. A lot of people will also then tell you to take that line and bring it down. I don't do that either. I actually take that line and I bring it up. I'm just gonna take it from like about halfway, like almost where my eye folds and I'm going to draw upwards. So I kind of just rest my brush and then move my hand with it. And I just make a line going straight across. And what I'm basically doing is I'm filling in the line until it doesn't look so hideous. We are going to go into the shade Amanita and I'm going to smoke out this liner after I take a sip of wine. Okay, 
So I'm taking the shade Amanita on a teeny tiny M515 brush. I definitely recommend this brush to like everyone. I'm sure it's probably only like $5, but it's like the tiniest little pencil brush and it's, did I say pencil? Pencil? Pencil brush. And it's really great for like detail work like this. Basically what you're gonna do is just tap on the edge of the liner with the purple until it looks smoky and blown out. So this is what it looks like so far, and I'm just gonna take concealer on the same brush and clean up the edge. And then how I blend it out is I just basically like drag it down and out. That's actually a little more purple than I would like it, so I think I'm just gonna add like a tiny little bit of rainier in there just like a little concoction of the two of them just to like bring a little bit more red in there yeah i like that better so i'm just gonna do the other eye quickly because that took me half of my lifetime and then I will catch you on the flip side. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I finished the other eye off camera and I applied the Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos. And for the bottom lashes, it's just going to be like super simple. I'm going to apply a nude liner. You could just like apply any nude liner. Just quickly run that in the waterline. that and then the bottom lash line I'm just gonna take this shade once again and I'm going to oh my gosh I'm so sorry I'm going to line the bottom lash line with this shade I just want to keep it super plain under here like that and then I'm just going to apply bottom mascara really quickly All right, I'm gonna pop on some highlighter and blush really quickly. I'm going into the Hello Halo highlighter and I met someone it's from Wet n Wild. Taking this on a Morphe M501 brush. I'm going to highlight before I put on blush. I've been doing this for a long time now. And I just like the way it looks better. You'll also have to just forgive the fact that my base is literally just just disintegrating because it's been on since three o'clock, but it's okay. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Burt's Bees blush in Toasted Cinnamon. Taking this on a JH06 brush and just applying that a little bit further back here. And I'm blending that into the highlighter so it kind of softens it up. Take a drink for this. I'm going to tell you how to perfect a dark lip. So I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent powder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this up on a sponge and I'm going to press this into my lip line. Literally just go around your lip line and press because there is moisture in foundation and everything that you put on your face, obviously. You wanna get out as much moisture as possible because what will happen is your lip liner will eventually kind of mesh with those products and it'll bleed and this way it will not so once you're done with that step then what i like to do and this is totally optional but i like to go in with a bronzer a matte bronzer and i'm just going to use this l'oreal true match powder this is actually not a bronzer it's a foundation powder but i use it as a bronzer I'm gonna take this on a little 
tiny M507 brush. And I'm going to line my lips with this powder. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go under. And this is just like a good trick for getting like a fuller look to your lips. I'm also gonna take this on the outside. This right here. And right here. Anyway, I've been thinking about getting my lips done again. I haven't gotten them done in two years. And it's funny, I actually clicked on my first video that I ever uploaded to link it to the last video that I uploaded. And when I clicked on the video, I saw my lips in that video and I was like, wow, they look nice. I think I definitely had like a little bit more volume to my lips residually from the lip filler that I had gotten a year prior to that. They've definitely like don't have anything left in them anymore. So I've been thinking about it. I don't know yet. I'm gonna take the lip liner in Vino from MAC and you wanna make sure that it's really, really sharp. I do recommend these firmer liners for when you're gonna do a dark lip because like I was saying in my Kylie video, some liners are just like too creamy. Like they're too creamy, they spread, they bleed. I love MAC liners, I like Morphe liners. They're just more firm. Anyway, I'm gonna line my lips and I will be right back. Okay, so once the lips are lined, then what I like to do is I like to just kind of fill them in a little bit. Well, actually, pretty much just fill them in all the way. This way you're just kind of ensuring that there's like an extra layer of security for when it does start to fade because a lipstick will fade way quicker than a lip liner will. My lips are super dry right now. But it's also a really good idea to exfoliate your lips before you're gonna use a dark lip because it definitely will accentuate a lot. I would just recommend taking a toothbrush with no product on it and then just kind of like gently exfoliating your lips. Not the one that you brush your teeth with per se, but maybe like a cheapy one from your local drugstore. Also, for some reason, it's really hard for me to get my lips even. So what I'll do is like, I'll take a selfie because you can see better for some reason in pictures. Like I'll take a selfie, I'll look, I'll be like, okay, I need to do a little bit here, a little more there, wherever, but that's a good trick. Okay, I know that I'm doing a lot of steps, but then you're gonna take your concealer and this concealer is actually darker like this one matches my skin tone more than this one is what i used to brighten so get something that matches your skin tone so if you don't have a concealer that matches your skin tone just use your foundation this one's like a little lighter than my skin tone but i'm going to go around the perimeter of my lip to make sure everything's like super clean i'll basically just outline my whole entire lip with this and I'm gently going to tap over that with translucent powder. Cause like I said, lip liner will bleed into creams. Last but not least, we're going to pick out a lip color. Wet n Wild was so kind to send me this whole collection again for the second time. Cause I actually worked on a campaign with them on these lipsticks. But these are the Mega Last High Shine and then Mega Last Matte. I'm gonna go for a matte one. And listen, I've already used a lot of these lipsticks because they sent them to me back in the summer. They are amazing and they're $2.99. Like, this is obviously not sponsored, but they're really good. So going in with Cherry Bomb. I know I've said this before, but you must do this with a dark lip. Always just make sure that you get everything out of the inner corner. Well, not inner corner, the inner rim so it doesn't wind up all over your teeth. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. I know that a dark, almost like blackish purple lip like this can be super intimidating, but it's all about just having confidence and just rocking it. I definitely encourage you guys to try a super bold dark lip for this winter season. Maybe not for the holidays, maybe like tone it down a little bit if you're going to like Christmas dinner with the parents. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this Merlot inspired makeup look. Honestly, I'm looking at it and I feel like it's 
pretty spot on color wise if I do say so myself. I want to give a huge thank you once again to Bright Sellers for sponsoring today's video and for supporting me so much throughout 2020. I really really appreciate these sponsors and I appreciate you guys allowing me to take so many sponsors because with the sponsors I'm able to do my dream job pretty much full time now because I haven't worked since March but yeah I just thank you. Also, don't forget that if you would like to try Bright Sellers for yourself, I'm going to leave a link in the description box and then all you have to do is take their super simple quiz and then you'll get $50 off your first six bottle box. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for the most amazing first year on YouTube. It means the absolute world to me. If you guys missed my last video, I just had my anniversary of one year on YouTube. So truly, thank you guys for being the only thing that didn't completely suck this past year. Cheers to you, cheers to a year, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.